So Jason, it's been a week since Sarah gave us the new policy on need to train. Have you done an IEP using the new policy yet? Yes, Nicole. It was much easier to document the client's training needs using the six criteria questions as a guide. I'm really just not sure if it's going to help me. I have a client coming in today to work on an IEP and I will have to figure out how to apply the new policy. I was skeptical at first, but once I focused on each of the six questions and then put all my information together, it wasn't hard at all. So do you have any pointers to help me with using the new need to train policy? Sure, let's go over each question and I'll show you how I put my clients together. Awesome, thanks for the help. Question 1 asks us to document that suitable employment is available in the local commuting area. Labor market information was able to show that this is a field that is in demand. That sounds simple enough. It is. When I was looking to answer question 2, it was easy to show how the client would benefit from the training. My client is waiting to begin lineman training. So I discussed the skills and certifications he would gain from the following completion of the training. Question 3 states that I must show that there is a reasonable expectation for employment at the completion of training. I was able to use labor market information to show that there is a projected future growth for linemen and training would lead to employment. When you break it down question by question, this doesn't seem as overwhelming when looking at it all at once. It's kind of easy. Question 4 asks if the training is accessible to the client within the commuting area. My client lives a few miles from the local school. So it's just a simple statement that he is able to commute to the college. Question 5 wants to know if my client is capable of completing the training. I was able to gather this information during our career advising sessions. And it was useful in completing the other sections of the IP as well, beyond educational and employment history, we had to discuss physical capabilities. Since lineman is an occupation that requires physical abilities that other trainings may not require. The last question is just documenting that the training is approved and listed on the ETPL. This again is just a statement that I have researched that the lineman training is approved at the college that he wishes to attend. Jason, you have really helped me by breaking down these six criteria questions. I was stressing about this and I don't see it being as hard as I expected. No problem, Nico. I'm going to give you a copy of my client's IEP so you can see how it all comes together in ECOS. I hope it helps you with your client. Thank you so much.